Hi, this is Matt from Owner Builders Unite. Here we are in the town of Crestone, and we are at a build site that Benjamin Beyer and Michelle has donated to the Energy Fair for an alternative build. And it's being pretty much ran by Sean King here. He's very good at adobe work, earthen plasters. What else is your forte? Uh, primarily uh, cob and natural building, working with natural timbers. Um, and then basically working with a site in a way that's minimal impact and um, working with a building design it's got a kind of maximum sculpture aspects you know departing from what we normally see from in in buildings perfect uh tell us about the structure we're working on here okay so this structure is going to function as a shed when it's done or possibly a meeting house um and it's 10 by 20 and what we're going to do is we're going to have a curved roof uh, and it's going to be a living roof, um, which is going to stand out from most things around here. It'll really pop when people come into town. Uh, but the main function of the front half of the building is both as a hands-on demonstration learning uh, structure and also as a permanent public education um, outlet. Because right here is the entrance to the, to the town, it's public parking, uh, and we'll maintain access to the, to the building. And each, uh, the building will have uh, different types of wall systems like straw bale, um, cob, um, hempcrete, aircrete, um, hands-on demonstrations here and they will be permanently displayed. Uh, there will also be a truth window. Anybody's familiar with uh, straw bale, you, you, there's a tradition of, of leaving a little glass panel where you can see that there are straw bales in the structure of the wall. We'll do that for each type of wall system and we'll also uh, have a plaque for each explaining what it is and talking about the person who led the workshop. Um, so, and then um, to say a little bit more about the site, um, Benjamin in particular had a vision of this place being an educational site, permanent, so we can continue in the future for Energy Fair, where the education is part, part of the emphasis, to continue building wall outward and around the entire site, coming back to the building um, as a way to give people hands-on experience. Um, and also to do some experiments, you know, let's try something and then watch it over time and see how it does. So this is all volunteer work and it's going to be a Frankenstein of a building and you can come out to the energy fair and participate, right? Absolutely. And, and all these structures, they're going to be doing demonstrations. We're going to come back. This is a part one video of a few parts that we're going to film and you'll see the progression of this build site. So here you guys are working on the first corner. The first stage is rock, stone wall. We got a big old Brett Buchanan here from Crescent Moon, yep. construction, hey. big helper with Energy Fair, love this guy, construction knowledge. We got Diamond Ray with, what's your? Rock and Diamond Stone Rock Company. Rock and Diamond Stone Company, yeah, look these guys up. These are our uh, guys helping out today. We got a lot of community members helping out and donating materials and time. So a little bit about the structure. What we got so far is a stem wall made of three quarter inch crushed rock. You want to talk about this? Yeah, real we'll quick? talk about. So this this found type of foundation system is built up to be a drain as well. So any water that's moving towards the building on the surface or in the ground will drop into the trench and flow outward and away from the building. It's a way of dealing with um, either normal rain patterns or extreme rain patterns, which we, of course we can get a lot more of. So the idea is it's uh, leveled on the bottom with a little bit of an outward slope. There's a pipe in, and then the rest of it's filled with tamped gravel which gives you your pore space. Cool. Um, and gives you also stability so you can work with the stone wall coming upwards from there. Perfect, is there a, does this system have a name? Uh, rubble Trench is the cool. common name for it and it doesn't have to be commercial gravel, it can be like broken up brick, whatever you've got around. If you've got waste rock, you can use it for the same, uh, for the same purpose. Perfect. So what we got, I'm just moving aside. What we did was we lined the trench after it was dug with a backhoe um, with this special fabric, this is permeable to water. Um, it's called French drain fabric, basically, um, type of landscaping fabric. Um, then filled with gravel, and what we do is we kind of top it off to close it. So if any silt's coming in from the outside, um, in this case, we'd want that border. If anything's coming in from the inside, outside, the silt will get trapped by this. Water will drop in. You don't have a filling of the pore space of the trench with silt. So it's important to do some kind of prevention from silt getting into your rubble trench system so you can maintain your drainage. Now, if you want to take a look at the sump, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that. Let's turn it around and put the flat face out. Like that. I could get in there, actually. That might be cool. Get, you, get people some scale, right? Yeah, You 
going? Okay. So what we got here is um, ideally with a rubble trench system, you're going to continue trenching all the way out to daylight downhill so that water has a way to leave the site completely. Since we're in um, you know, a built up area with a road Let's and put a so on, here. We, uh, <clears throat> we decided yeah, not to try and get all the way out to a drainage spot. Instead, we built down. a sump, which is basically a big open space for water to, to go if you have excess water in the system. So this is just a hole. We line it with some um, with uh, tarp, uh, and the uh, any water that's coming into the drainage trench, rubble trench system, can come into this sump, and it'll have pore space to store it. This is just a monitoring system. I set this up with a piece of scrap um, PVC pipe. We actually fold out all the way down to six feet, and at the bottom is a little bit of uh, uh, the French drain fabric, and so this will allow us to take a look and see if water's coming up. In bottom of the sump so we get an idea of how the sump is performing in terms of, of uh, dealing yeah, with really high right levels of, of, of uh, sure water please. coming into the trench system. Did you get it? That's about it. <laughs> Look who's showing up to help, it's Kyle! Hire this man! <laughs> Alright Sean, will you explain these metal tie things coming out of the ground here? Okay, so this is a total experiment in adobe building and also in cob building. They have these things called deadmen, which are uh, pieces of wood buried in the wall, which you can use to attach doors and windows and that sort of thing. So it's an anchor inside the, the earthen material. I didn't want to bury posts, and I didn't want to put a post inside the stem wall system sure. because then it's kind of like a lever. Yeah, if the building moves at all, it's actually going to crack your wall Pretty open. Close. Um, so the compromise was <clears throat> to basically do dead men in, the, uh, out, in this with rock. So what I got was long, out, you know, thin rocks. I yeah, wired this to the strapping to it. And the yeah, strapping yeah. can come up be uh, between yeah, stones yeah. And, and inside gravel because this, okay. this wall has a gravel center or a rubble center. And then these will just be tacked on to the posts. They're in the position of the planned posts um, to give a hold down for the posts. It's not going to allow, if it shifts, there's just a little bit of enough of a play that it won't act as a lever to crack your wall. Open. So it's an experiment. Um, this was a solution uh, that I thought we should try as far as um, getting it so we didn't have to put a post in contact with the ground or in the ground. Um, but we could also get some good vertical anchoring because winds here can be pretty significant. For sure. Um, and we don't really want the, the building working up and, up and down um, on its own. So that's it. Cool. Uh, that's it for part one. Owner Builders Unite. Like and subscribe for more content. Thanks, guys. Come on out to the Energy Fair 16th and the 17th of September this year. All righty.